and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> on this video, I'm riding around on the Lyric Graffiti and I want to talk about a new bike out there. Another one that's kind of cool, uh, um, especially what it has to offer and the price. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the bike. It's called the Anioki A8 Pro Max. It comes in two versions. There's the 48 volt version and then there's the uh, 52 volt version. And I want to talk a little more about the 52 volt version because that's the one I would prefer simply because I like a little bit more power. But let me say the prices though, uh, for the uh, 48 volt, there's not really much difference, uh, I don't think. I will leave a link in the description and you can go and check it out for sure, but I don't think there's a lot of differences other than the wattage or the uh, voltage. Uh, pretty much the bike is pretty close to the same, I think, other than that. So what it is is a, uh, for the 48 volt version, it's $18.99 right now, regularly $20.99. And the 52 volt is $20.90, $21.99, dollars more, regular $23.99. So the 52 volt though is currently on pre-order and they're taking orders up till the end of June. So if you want to get in on this you want to do it fairly quickly and here's the first thing that stood out to me incredibly the size of the battery on both of them but i'm going to primarily talk about the 52 volt here but the battery is a whopping 52 volt 60 amp hour and that's huge so the bike although i don't believe it is is looks like a folding bike to me. It's a 20 by four flat tire. Um, the battery alone, that big battery weighs 33 pounds. So that puts the whole bike at a whopping 101 pounds. So it's pretty heavy. And that's more in the range of my uh, aerial rider Grizzly. It, that would put it more closer to that weight. So pretty heavy. Considering you're, you have a 60 amp hour battery, then it's not surprising that it weighs a lot like that. But uh, So it's got the uh, 60 amp battery. The motor is a 1000 watt, we're talking 52 volt here, 1000 watt uh, nominal peaking at 1400 watts. It's supposed to give us a top speed of 32 miles per hour. It might be a little higher than that. Now I saw the controller size for the 48 volt was 28 amp. I believe it was 28. And I can't find if the 52 is the same or different. So I can't really confirm anything on that. And I can't remember whether the brakes are hydraulic. I believe they are disc brakes, but I cannot say for sure. But it does have a full suspension. It has a hydraulic seat. It's a single uh, seat. I believe the bike comes in two colors, black or gray. The maximum uh, load on the bike is 350 pounds. I should mention the torque. So the torque is good on this bike. It's 100 Newton meters. That is pretty darn good. That'll get you, should get you up hills uh, without much issue. The uh, range, I gotta talk about the battery range since the battery is a whopping 60 amp hour battery. They're claiming on throttle only that this battery will uh, take you 110 to 140 miles. 
Boy, that's a lot if it does that. Maybe it would, and if it did, you know, sign me up because that's that's a lot of distance. Um, so with pedal assist, they're claiming up to uh, 200 miles or, or 200 plus miles. Gee, that'll take you uh, a long way. Basically, that would take you from here to Seattle. Okay, <laughs> that's quite a ways. It does have an anti-theft uh, system, advanced anti-theft. That's a seven-speed Shimano gear shifter. What else can I say about this bike? The actual range, they're claiming 220 plus miles. That'll get you to Seattle and part way back from here. That's crazy. I think I pretty much covered everything that this bike has. Like I say, you want to get in on the pre-order. Um, because that'll end on June the 30th. So, take your pick if you want 48 volt or 52. $300 is quite a bit of difference, but If you want to go up to the 52 volt, you might want to pay the extra 300. If not, if you're happy with 48, 18.99 is an outstanding price. Just that battery alone makes it, and a thousand watt motor, I mean, gee, that makes it a uh, pretty good value. Be hard to beat that one. If you like that style of bike, and you want to stay in that $2,000 price range, which a lot of bikes these days get a pretty good bike for that around that price so so like I say I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out it's the Antioki that's A-N-I-I-O-K-I A8 Pro Max Your choice 42, 48 volt or 52 volt So that's going to do it for this video here on the channel don't forget to leave a comment if you have a comment on this or any other video on uh, in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.